unconventional fusion. Uh, it's called, it goes by different names, A-neutronic. And A-neutronic does not use neutrons. It just generates electricity directly. Uh, charged particles come out and that's, that's your electricity. So it eliminates turbines. Uh, we're possibly looking at a future of electricity generation uh, without, uh, from a nuclear reactor without a turbine. Uh, it does not rely on hot escaping neutrons. It tends to fuse hydrogen and boron, not deuterium and tritium. Uh, it runs much hotter than uh, conventional fusion, between one, two, one and two billion degrees. So don't get close. Uh, don't try this at home. Uh, versus uh, a reasonably cool 100 million to 150 million degrees for conventional fusion. Um, Try Alpha, they're a stealth company. I think they like to be called a stealth company. It sort of adds to their mystique. But uh, they don't talk a lot. They, they haven't really met the press much that I'm aware of. Uh, they've raised over $140 million in venture funds, including from Goldman Sachs. Try Alpha Energy, a company in California, has made a big advance in fusion energy. Try Alpha's machine is as long as two buses. It creates smoke rings of gas and then slams them together at nearly a million kilometers per hour. This creates a hollow blob of gas at around 10 million degrees Celsius. In early experiments, the gas fell apart after just a couple of thousandths of a second, but firing beams of high energy particles helps keep it together. This week, the company announced that using more powerful angled beams keeps the gas tube stable much longer. Next, the team will build a bigger, even more powerful version to reach the enormous temperatures needed for fusion. And another company uh, working on the same sort of technology is called Lawrenceville Plasma Physics. They're in New Jersey. They're partnering with Iran. Uh, they've recently, just, just last week, they have formalized or, or escalated a partnership. They had an informal partnership with uh, uh, Iranian researchers, but they have signed a contract with uh, the head of the Plasma Research Department at the Islamic Azad University in Tehran to jointly develop um, a neutronic fusion. And let's see if that gets past the uh, sanctions regulations. At the heart of the dense plasma focus are two cylindrical electrodes only a few inches across nested inside each other. The electrodes are enclosed in a vacuum chamber with a low pressure gas filling the space between them. A pulse of electricity from a capacitor bank, an energy storage device, is discharged across the electrodes. For a few millionths of a second, an intense current flows from the outer to the inner electrodes and ionizes the gas. Instabilities first compress the plasma into dense filaments. These filaments are little whirlwinds of current. The sheath of filaments merges together into a dense pinch or focus, combining all the filaments into one. This filament kinks and twists itself into a tiny dense ball, only a few thousandths of an inch across, called the plasmoid. Instability in the plasmoid creates powerful beams in opposite directions. Positively charged nuclei stream in one direction, and electrons in the other. Rapid compression heats the trapped plasma to billions of degrees, hot enough to fuse nuclei together to release fusion energy. In sum, the DPF operates by using electric current to induce a plasma state in a fuel gas. It then leverages a series of instabilities within the plasma to bring about controlled nuclear fusion. We call this focus fusion.